Aurora was having a really hard night last night. She woke up about four in the morning um, and she was just really fussy and she was just having a hard time. So I did put her in bed with me. Um, she finally went back to sleep and then I had a really hard time going back to sleep. So I put the baby monitor facing on her and I'm so thankful I did because here's what happened. Tears and the shame, we've so much to gain If our hearts beat for the here and the now We'll make it somehow, what do you say? Look up to the sky and see the light you guys are all having a good morning unfortunately we are not um, Aurora woke up and had a seizure this morning um, and then within an hour she had another one we immediately called Phoenix Children's Hospital and talked to the neurologist and they said to go ahead and up her medication because maybe her weight changed or this, these are called breakthrough seizures um, so we upped her medication she still had another seizure after that um, so we're just really worried about her. So we are on our way to the hospital right now to get her checked out and make sure that everything is okay. And we will keep you guys updated. First of the year, a warm kiss in the cold. Hear the whisper in my ear. All right, so we got to the hospital. Um, we waited in the waiting room for a little bit. We came back to the room um, because she was starting to get fussy. So they were. Usually it's got about a. She's having a seizure. All I need, I need, All right, update on Aurora. She has had six seizures total um, and a few at the hospital in front of the doctors that lasted about a minute or maybe even a little bit longer. So they are gonna transport her back down to Phoenix Children's Hospital at this point because the medication that they're giving her is just not working, so. Her poor baby. Aurora's having a really hard time. Um, after about the sixth seizure, they gave her rescue medication because her vitals kept dropping and the seizures aren't stopping. Um, so they actually gave her rescue medication and they sedated her. And she still had a couple seizures after that. So she's had eight seizures total. Um, they had to give her a second dose of the rescue medication. As of right now, the seizures have stopped, but the doctor's really concerned that the medication isn't working and that there might be something more than the epilepsy. So we're really worried right now. They're gonna air back us down to Phoenix Children's Hospital and we're gonna, they said that they think that they should redo the MRI and the EEG and kind of just see if they missed something or if there's something else going on. Um, so that is the plan right now. I just feel so bad for her because it's like, she's so little and just so precious and for her body to have to go through this and just, I just, it's so sad to see a kid and have to go through something like this and they don't deserve it and it's just, it's so hard as a parent to watch your child go through this and and not be able to step in and help them. I thought medication, I thought this, you know, taking them to the hospital, it was going to stop the seizures. Um, but unfortunately, that hasn't been the case. So I'm really praying at this point that everything turns out okay. Was offered to me, still you'd be all I need. Oh, you'd be all I need.
They ended up not being able to air vac us because it was so windy that they grounded all the flights. So instead we rode by ambulance. Um, it was about three and a half hour drive and we are still or trying to figure things out. We have not seen neurology yet. It is the next morning. Um, so we're waiting for neurology to come in to see if they're gonna redo an EEG or kind of see what medications or what, where we're gonna go from here. Um, but I got this baby for Aurora. Look how cute this is. Um, I originally got it for her to take to Las Vegas with us, but because she's so bored and having such a hard time, I decided to bring it in early and we're gonna open it up right now. Aurora, you wanna open the you wanna baby? You wanna open? I know, you got You got an owie, oh. huh? Neurology came in and said they actually do not want to do an EEG because she is so medicated and she had those two rescue medications and she has all of that in her system right now. So we're going to have to come down next week um, to do an EEG and have a follow up with neurology. Um, the really good thing, I guess, and I don't know if it's good or not, but um, they did give her a prescription to get a watch called the Embrace 2. It's from Empatica and it'll actually track all of her seizures. It'll give us reports on it. It'll notify Erin and I if she has a seizure and we're not in the room or that kind of thing. It sends a notification to our cell phone. So I'm actually really looking forward to getting that. I feel like that's like such peace of mind for me and for her to wear that and for me to know if she's having a seizure if I walk out of a room or that kind of thing. So I am grateful for that and I'm grateful that she's doing really good. Epilepsy is not fun guys and I know a lot of you have it. A lot of you know people that have it and my love and thoughts and prayers go to all of you because it is not an easy thing. And I said since she just got diagnosed um, I guess it takes a while to figure out what meds work, what meds don't work, if she needs two meds and all of that. So it is definitely going to be a long journey for us. But thank you so much for all of your love and prayers and all of your positive messages. I love you guys so much. You ready to go home? Yeah? All right, they have to do your vitals real quick and then it's time to go. Hold on. You, you want to hold your baby with you? Worth falling for. Oh, and with open arms, I'll carry you. Did you get an alley? They take your IV out. What a pretty band aid. Rain or shine, I'll cover you up and calm the skies. As long as you. car driving um, we decided to stay an extra night just because it's actually super late right now we don't want to drive back at night because we're both really tired and didn't get very good sleep last night um, so Aurora though is in a really good mood and she's actually trying to play hide-and-seek in the car and it's so cute you gonna play hide-and-seek with me yeah all right you want to count okay I'll hide Where's mom? Ma. Ma. Here I am! You found me! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna count. Ready? One, no me. One, two, three, four. You you hide. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Where's Aurora? Oh, I missed 
you. I missed you guys. I missed you. I'll be there when you need me. You can count on it every time. It won't always be easy. I'll be there when you need me.